Hi everyone, my name is Vasi, I live in London and I usually make videos from there, but I also love traveling and this is why today we are in Spain. Hola curious gang, today we are in the city of Valencia and we're going to explore the street food and especially the market because if you have been following me for a while you would know how much I love street food and especially markets and the market here in Valencia it's one of the oldest markets in Europe. Grab a fork and let's go! I wish I could actually give you some of this delicious food from the market and this is how it looks from the outside but unfortunately or fortunately they're doing a lot of reconstructions all around the market at the moment so it doesn't look as great but I'm sure soon it will. The building itself, it is a beautiful example of the 20th century architecture. It is more than 8,000 square meters and it has more than 900 stands. As you can see, it is very beautiful. There is a lot of light coming in from the roof, which in itself, it's also quite interesting. And it has like different range of materials like iron, wood, ceramics, and also these beautiful tiles. I don't know if it's normal to be so impressed by a market, but I literally loved it. And what do you guys think about it? And one of the first things that you can grab are these freshly squeezed juices and of course horchata, which I will try later in this video. And what is Spain without their jamón? So of course we could find like both fresh meat and tons of cured meat in this market and quite impressive the entire legs were hanging from the roofs. So, if you are a fan of this cured meat, this is definitely the right place for you because if you go in the city center, prices are like double. And as I don't eat meat, Ben will try it for you guys. And this is what you get for 250. It's like literally bread with the jamon. And to me, this looks a little bit dry. What do you guys think? But hey, I don't eat meat, so what do I know? Oh, it's true. This is like the classic, you know, Amon Serrano. How is it? Yeah, really good. So this whole bocadillo, as they call it, is 250. Mm. And do you think there is enough jamón? It's, it's fair, it's fair, because it's really strong, so it needs a lot of bread. It's fair, yeah. The tomatoes that I'm touching in there, in the end we actually bought them and they were so delicious. I cannot explain to you how sweet they were and overall prices were not very low but definitely totally worth it for the quality that you get. The first time that we went to the market was Monday but unfortunately there wasn't any fish so we had to go back to film the videos that you see at the moment but I think it's pretty popular thing for tourists to film the fish because many of the sellers were getting quite angry or had signs not to film the fish which honestly I haven't seen in any other market. And this was my time to get something sweet. So, the first things that we got, baklava and also a date, which is all filled up with pistachio. And that's for me. And Ben got this, I'm so surprised. Why? Yeah, dates are usually my thing. How is it? Really interesting. Is it similar to the one that I made? Mm -mm. Yours are sweeter. Really? Mm. Right. Yes. And yes, you can laugh at me. I know I look ridiculous here. I was also quite surprised that it's not as sweet as I expected. I think because the pistachio is fresh. Second thing, baklava again with pistachio. Go. Mmm. 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 Wow. They said it's really fresh. Mm. And now this is the face of someone that approves the sweetness of the dessert. I loved it also because it was really full, full of pistachios. 
both of these things were 3 8 I think which not really cheap but I guess because there's a lot of pistachio and now back to the market for some more delicious food And I just wanted to show you that if you go to another bakery, you can definitely get something way more affordable than the sweets that we got. And do I even have to tell you that the cheese selection was also great. We got fresh goat cheese and it was just incredible. It was so fresh and authentic that you could actually feel the taste of the milk, which is not something which usually happens when I eat cheese. At first I wanted to put these videos into order, but then I was like, you know what? The market itself was all like that, all over the place. From one side you have potatoes, from the others you have sweets, then paella, and then some meat, but all delicious. So yes, you're very welcome, some authentic market experience. A very, very crucial ingredient for making an authentic paella is saffron. And it is also known as red gold because of its price. And depending on the quality that you get, it will usually cost you between 7 and 20 euros per 1 gram. Yes, you heard me correctly, like 1 gram is around 10 euros. Due to the low budget of this video, we won't be testing out the saffron, but what we could afford is tortilla made of potatoes. So, I got this tortilla and it was only 2 euros, and to be honest with you, like the piece is pretty big. Let's see. So this is the typical tortilla, but it also has onion. Not bad. And the piece is pretty big. Not the best tortilla I have ever had because it was pre-made, but hey, it was not bad at all. For me, this would usually be lunch with a little bit of salad, so uh, always I think the side it's great. salad. And I like that you have like a normal fork and knife. Bad. And a total must when you're in Valencia, it is La Aqua de Valencia. And this was our first time trying it out. And something that we have in here, super tiki-pico, it is called Agua de Valencia, which is literally translated as like the water of Valencia. But as you can see, like it has oranges and it, there is also alcohol. How much mm. alcohol? Not much. You can feel it, but it's tasty. Yeah, you can feel it, but definitely not a lot. I quite like it. I think it's good for lunch because it's there isn't too much alcohol, but it like kind of kicks you. Yes. So cheers to that. And in the market, you can also buy this pan to make the paella, but something was telling me that this is not the best place from where you should buy it because it was literally like being sold in this uh, souvenir shop. Hola! Hola! <laughs> so this is only one euro. Uh, How cool is that? Amazing! And as I told you earlier, dates are totally my thing, so I had to get some from home, but let's just say that I got the wrong type of dates and these were super fresh and not as sweet. And what is the most typical Spanish dessert that you can think of? I hope that it's churros because this is what we will be testing out for you, but this will be the real authentic ones. Guys, one of the things we should, which you should definitely try when you're in Valencia, it's called horchata. One of the best places where you can have it is this one. It's called horchateria because, you know, they make this horchata drink de Santa Catalina, but don't you worry, I haven't forgotten about the churros. 
and this is actually one of the most historical and oldest places in the city where you can have horchata because it dates more than 200 years ago and also it's quite cute four churros which go together with the chocolate this is the farron which goes together with the horchata and this is me that i go with basichi but this is the horchata that I was talking to you about. And the horchata is this very sweet, opaque drink, also quite dense. It is very Valencian and it is made from pressed chufas, which are tiger nuts. And after that, you're supposed to dip your farron into it, but I didn't know this when I was filming. And here are the churros. This is what I like. It's dense. It's thick. And I have to say, like, it was really delicious. And despite it being fried, it was still pretty light. I don't know how is it possible, but they managed to do it. And I think the chocolate was one of the best parts about it. And now I'm supposed to dip it into the horchata. And there's nothing inside. Duh, because you're supposed to dip it. I don't know why I thought it would have some kind of feeling. But this one is totally worth it. And this is why this place should be a must. And you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to like it and subscribe and I will see you in my next one from Valencia. Love you all! Bye!